Hello and welcome, my name is Nick Burnham, and this is part four of Let's Play Wizardry NES with Grid Cartographer. Uh, welcome back, good to have you. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Still getting some good comments and stuff, so thank you guys for watching and tuning in. It's been fun to record these, even though I've been uh, taking some breaks between recordings. I actually got a pet recently. I got a chinchilla, and uh, that has been taking up a surprisingly large amount of my time, uh, just figuring out how to take care of a chinchilla. Uh, but I've always wanted one, and it's been awesome so far, if not without its trials and tribulations. Um, still a long way to go before I'm an expert. But anyway, um, so I might be talking about that more as we go on. But anyway, let's uh, get our bearings here again. I don't remember if we're good against clerics, or if clerics are particularly strong. Um, in the last video I said I was going to look up what creeping coins do, what their deal is, and like how often we're going to see them. And I guess um, if you watch the video closely last time, you can see that they do have a breath weapon that will hit the entire party, but it only hits them for one hit point. But they do give out a ton of experience. They can also call for help, so they can summon more creeping coins to them. So the battles can go really long until, I'm assuming, we get like a AoE spell, uh, something like that. Also, I read that the, uh, they have the, the ability to level drain the party, which doesn't seem to happen very, very often at all, but that is a thing that they can do. I don't know if that's still in the NES version, but when I looked up the monsters on the wiki, it said that they do have a level drain ability. So that's something we might have to watch out for if we run into more creeping coins, but I mean, they give out so much experience that a level drain is not even that big of a deal at this point anyway. Uh, might be a bigger deal later on, I don't know. But, uh, and hopefully the, the battles with them will go a lot quicker later on too when we're doing a lot more damage. So, we didn't go in this door yet, I don't believe, and uh, the party is doing pretty well on health and everything. Let's check our spells, because I didn't check that before starting. Uh, no mage spells on the cleric, of course. Um, I was going to check the... Uh, Oh, the slots that we have. That's what I wanted to see. Four level one spells. And that's all we care about outside of combat, I guess, anyway. Is Dios. Uh, we could cast some Dios to just heal the party up. Four Duma pick. And that's all we got on the mage, anyway. That we can cast from outside of combat, anyway. Um... Yeah, let's cast uh, a few Dios just in case. I don't anticipate that getting out of here is going to be particularly difficult. But it's always nice to have a few extra hit points. Oh good, one hit point. <laughs> one hit point again. This isn't like uh, Elder Scrolls where we can just train our spellcasting ability. Wow. Three one hit point rolls in a row, huh? There, there's three. <laughs> that was really bad, but whatever. Let's uh, continue. I'm going to quick save here. New area. We will leave the friendly clerics alone, since we got so much XP from the creeping coins last time, which was really nice. Three clerics and four scruffy men. That seems like a lot. I don't know. I'm still like scared and just kind of exploring here until we figure out what's in every area, so let's block this off, since it doesn't look like we can go anywhere else here. Draw our terrain. Um, do we want to go north or south, I guess? Haven't run into anything too dangerous here yet. Still riding that quick save button. A man in ropes, I think we can take him. Easy. That's actually quite a lot of gold for one dude. Um, oh wow, I didn't know you could get encounters just by turning. I guess we haven't seen that a lot. Let's try fighting the clerics and see what happens. Two damage, killed one, killed another, killed the third one. Okay. So you can cast Badios, which does damage instead of healing. Um, so this looks like it mirrors the other side of this area. And there's still nothing here, okay. Good to know. And... 
Yep, as you might expect, the rest looks exactly the same. So, not too much else going on here, it looks like. Although, as we've experienced so far in Wizardry, not everything is as it seems, right? So, <laughs> we never know for sure until it's too late a lot of the time, whether something is going to turn out well or turn out boring. Um, one thing I have marked on the map is that uh, like armor piece, and I don't remember if we picked it up last time, so I'm just going to go check again. Monsters surprised you. Slimes are not bad except for the poison. Um, can we get out of here with 29 moves? I don't think so. Uh, gas clouds again can poison us. Sopic. I thought they could poison us. I guess we could just attack them. I don't know how long sleep lasts in this game either. For the party? Uh oh. Um, okay, so... Let's just kill him. Good. Now we might have to actually go rest, since uh, the mage is pretty low on hit points. Did it change? It didn't change our party order, so that's good. I was wondering about that. Creeping creds we will leave alone. Um, so I guess we're gonna go back to town. Um, yeah. Just double checking. I went to the right floor. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. Um, where are we going? It's been a little bit since I played this game, sorry. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Let's just see... Yeah, I was wondering if we would get another hit point. Or gain another level. Oops. Nice. Two hit points, not bad. Could be worse, could be one. One hit point. Came to vitality, that's important. Two hit points. As long as we keep gaining levels, it's like we're just gonna keep making progress, you know? Yeah, everybody and new spells and stuff. We'll be sure to check out those spells. The mage still doesn't have a ton of hit points, but at least he's in the double digits. Um, who, do we want people to rest now? It doesn't really matter that much. I will have the mage. Oh, he gained another level? Wow. I guess that was all the creeping coin experience. Let's just check everybody again, just to be sure. Yeah, wow. 19 hit points on Opie and gain stats on almost everything. Damn. I guess I didn't... I should have checked everybody twice, I guess. Yeah. And more new spells. That's amazing. And now the mage is up to 20 hit points. Also amazing. Uh, we're gonna quick save here. Um, I'm not sure how much gold we have, actually. 2,000. We could probably buy something more interesting now. Um... Man, those creeping coins are really, really something, huh? What can we buy with 2,000? Potions of curing are probably really important. Uh, we could get plate mail for our fighters. Or... I think... I don't know if they all have breastplates, actually. I don't think so. Um, so yeah, potions of curing are 500. Neutralizing are 300. Blade of biting, I don't know what that does. A scroll of sleep would be nice. Padded leather, shiny chain, sturdy plate. So I guess that's like improved versions of the armor. Body armor, iron shield, scroll of pain, scroll of fire. A studly staff. <laughs> Does it mean sturdy staff? I wonder what that means. Is it a staff covered in studs? <laughs> um, a potion of glass. I don't know what that does other. Uh, okay, but we could buy some shit if we wanted to. Let's just uh, heal everybody up first. 
Uh, yeah. Let's have him... Since we have the money, let's take less time resting. Because I'm always kind of worried about like how much the aging is going to come into play here. Economy, please. See... Oh, he doesn't have any gold. I was like, why is it not letting me? Thank you. But I'm gonna try and record a few videos today, so I'll get some in the books, and we can make some real progress again. Let's do another. That's fine. As long as we're over 20, honestly, it's probably fine. Until, like, later floors. Let's have the mage for us, too. And ideally, you'd want to spend your money at the same time that you're just checking for levels, but I guess we haven't optimized ourselves that well yet. Okay. So now let's go back here. Um... What are we wearing right now? Let's check. Equip, we have a longsword, large shield, and a chainmail. I think that's it for everybody. For all the fighters, I mean. Um, so, we could at least buy... What's more important? I'm gonna check the manual real quick. So let's hop over to there. Let's see if we can find our potions. If your characters have an item such as scroll or magical potion, they may use them. Uh, with use, yeah. Um, is it gonna show us what Potion of Curing does? So it might just cure all status effects. Poisoned. Characters who are poisoned are cured as soon as they enter the castle. Oh, I didn't notice that. Huh. That's interesting. And Latu Mophis removes the effects of poison. So let's see what new spells we have, too. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of housekeeping here. So let's go back to the game and see what we have for new spells first. Cleric has... Oh wow, tons of spells. Um, and we're level 6 now, by the way. That's crazy. So, looking at the book... What have I not gone over yet? We have for like level two and three, we have Matu, Kalfo, Manifo, Montino, Lamalwa, Dialco, Latu Mapic, and Bamatu. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce all these, but I'm just gonna assume. Again, Matu reduces the AC of all the party members. Is a double strength Kalki, basically. Kalfo permits the caster to determine the nature of a trap. Uh, Manifo. Causes some of the monsters in the group to become still statues. Monsters cannot attack, and physical attacks upon them are easier and do double damage. So that's probably what the scroll of stone does, too, or whatever it was. Something of stone. Montino causes the air around a group of monsters to stop transmitting sound, thus preventing them from casting spells. So that's important. That's like our silence spell. Lamalwa is again the magical light illuminating more of the maze and revealing all secret doors. That's interesting. Okay. The effects of Lama Walla, however, last for the duration of the expedition. So we might want to cast this whenever we enter the maze. Um, because it, it just lasts forever. And I should be saying, like, memorizing the translated versions of these, it's like Sunbeam and Softness and Prayer and stuff, but it's like easier just to remember what they do. <laughs> Dialco cures Paralysis and frees those under the spell of Katino or Manifo, so Paralysis and Sleep, basically. Um, 
Latu Mopic reveals the true names of the monsters you meet. That's interesting. And Bamatu is a double strength Matu spell that reduces the AC of each party member by four instead of two. So, okay. We've got a lot of tools here. We've got to remember to use Lamalwa when we're out in the maze then, I think. And I'm going to check my mage quick. So, wreath. The mage now has Dilto, Sopic, and Mahalito for level 2 and level 3 spells. Heading up to the mage spells. Yeah, we knew about these two already. And Mahalito is a fire explosion to erupt amid a monster group doing 4 to 24 hit points of damage. So this is our AoE fireball spell. So we've got a lot more tools now, and I think everybody is level 6. If we go back to the game. Level 6, dwarf. Oops. Uh, I wanted to inspect. There we go. Level 6. Level 6. Level 6. Yeah. And our thief is still not doing a crazy amount of things, but he's good at what he does, basically. <laughs> um, didn't seem like there was much else for us to do in that area on level 2. Easy peasy. And we know there's not much else on level 1, if anything. Uh, let's cast our Lama Wasp spell, though. Uh, which is... Um, I'm going to look up the translation for that one again. Sunbeam. Yeah, it's going to take forever to memorize those, though. Um, spell. How do we get to level 2 spells? Oh, there we go. Uh, Latu, the identify for monsters we don't really care about, but Sunbeam, I think we will cast just to check out and see if it reveals any more secret doors for us. Uh, and we can see way farther now, actually, too, which is awesome. Yeah, look at that. So now we can actually see the full thing. Uh, why not? Let's fight him so we can get some more XP. Oh wow, right after. That usually doesn't happen either. Good stuff. Yeah, so now like the, the top screen here looks more like the bottom screen since we have the maze, or we have the, the light spell going on. And it's for, lasts for the rest of the expedition, so I guess we won't have to cast it again, apparently. That's super nice. Um, let's head up to level 2 again. Or down to level 2. Yeah, this is much nicer to look at. <laughs> um, you just have to get to level 6 or whatever and get lucky. Uh, what do we want to do here? I do want to go back and check that room where I had the armor... Gas clouds, I will not fight them. There's nothing here? Okay. I wasn't sure. I know in my earlier playthrough I picked up something else along this floor, but... We'll just keep going. What did I have over here? Uh... Yeah, there was like some statue or a dude or something. Still thinking about that like frog we found in a, in a cape. That was super funny. Weird humanoids. Um, are they zombies? I'm just wondering if they can poison us. So maybe we want to cast Latu Mothpick to identify them. We could try it anyway. Oop. 
Level 3 spell. Did it not work? Opie is paralyzed. We can cure that now, right? They are zombies, in fact, and we know they can paralyze us now. Um, I think we can kill them if we use... So what's our cure? Paralysis? Dialco? We can cure that, right? Oops. Yeah, it worked. Garrett's paralyzed. There's only two left. I've only got one Dialco left, so hopefully nobody gets paralyzed. Let's cast a Alito. Did not do much. Hey, we did it. That was a good chunk of experience. Our thief took a bunch of damage some somehow. Um, we'll have him inspect anyway, though. Crossbow bolt. Should be fine. Could not disarm it, actually. Okay. Fair enough. I like that it tells us what uh, effects we have going on when we look at the camp, so we know that we have light and identify going on. And I don't know how long uh, identify lasts. Oh, it says it lasts the rest of the expedition as well. So, yeah, every time we go into the dungeon, I guess, we gotta cast both of those just to, to see what's going on. Uh, which is not too bad, because we don't really have other spells on those levels that we want to cast that often. Like, Dialco is good for curing paralysis and sleep, obviously. Um, but, I mean, just having that, more, that much more information about the dungeon is super helpful. So, cast a Dios. Might as well cast another one. Okay, looking good. Nobody else is beat up too much, so we'll keep going. Um, I think I clicked that square accidentally. There we go. See a statue of a bear on a pedestal on the wall is a sign reading. I've got a million of them. Will you search? Yes. Oh, here's the statue. Okay. Not too afraid of two zombies. Yeah. Exploding box. Again, could not disarm it. That's okay. So now we've got a statue. So I'm gonna... Make a note of that, actually. Um, I think there's like a statue icon. I also want to remove this thing. Monster. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. We'll put statue there. Good stuff. So I'm glad we visited there. Um, I don't think there was anything else in these other rooms besides encounters. Creeping creds I'm not interested in fighting. Yeah. Easy. I'll try again. Hey, we did it. Ten gold pieces. It's like not even worth trying to open those sometimes. Uh, a level one mage. I guess we'll see how it goes. We could silence him. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Like a level one mage in wizardry terms is not going to last very long. <laughs> or in D&D terms for that matter. Uh, what's our silence spell again? That was the... That was a Montino for clerics. Let's try that and see how it works. Um, 
Um, are we out of spells? For some reason we can't cast, huh? It's only level one, though. Yeah, obviously we're not going to be able to dispel some living dudes, but we did it. Nice. We're getting more XP. It's fine. It's nice that they tell us, now that we have the Identify spell up, it's nice to know what level these guys are, so we can know to be afraid or not. Yeah, 5 damage, 6 damage, 2 damage. Not a big deal. As long as he doesn't get absurdly lucky. And even if he does, we're starting to get to the point where we've got enough XP to like actually bring people back if we need to. I think we're going to have to run back to heal again. But, um... So as you can see in the top right-hand part of this map, you have to go through this big, giant, meaningless spiral thing to get to... Level 3. Um, I don't think we can get through the fog over here either. Oh, this actually worked. Apparently I have the key now. Okay. Um, I have not gone here yet, so... Let's map that out. So we must have picked up the right key at some point. Uh, I like to write down what it says on every square. Just so I know. Yeah, I want to look at... Yeah, because we found a... Oh, right, we found a second key in um, this part of level 1. So I bet that's what opened up this part. I don't remember what color that key was. I should have... If it said it, if it had any other signifiers, but... It's just another series of doors. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back, either. Um... It's dark here again, which uh, apparently, but we don't have light up anymore. Can we cast light? Um, we're out of Lamawa. Can we cast a Milwa? Done. It's still dark. Okay, that's kind of what I thought it would do. Hmm. Little dicey, if we don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm just gonna guess there are... We also don't know where the doors are, so... If there are any. I'm just gonna sort of map this out, blindly. And I guess I should try pressing on every door, or every wall. Kinda like we're playing Doom. I'm gonna assume that that is correct. Okay. Is it just a big dark room? Yeah. Maybe we can go back? Ah. Oh. So there's gotta be an opening here. Let's see if we can go back, first of all. We can. Okay. Good to know. I'll draw that out, and I will use my dark tile effect for this. Just because it's fancy. Um, so now we know that we're basically safe to explore this. Let's just see if there's an opening. Ah, okay. So... Edges around here, for sure. It's another little spiral, I'm guessing. In this room is a statue of a monster with the body of a chicken and the head of a cat. The statue is made of bronze and lies on an onyx pedestal. There are unusual runes on a plaque thereon. Um, let's make a note here. Real quick. So... Uh, 
Uh, we want the note tool. Oop. I don't know why I clicked on that again. Let's click here. Uh, chicken, cat, statue. Uh, we'll say bronze on onyx pedestal. Maybe I should just add a full like text thing, but the note is fine too. With runes. Okay. Yeah, that's not too long. Bronze chicken cat statue on an onyx pedestal with runes. On a plaque. Not a plague, but a plaque. Will you search? Yes, we found another key. Okay. Good to know. I'm gonna mark that on our map too. Right after we leave this fight. And it's funny that this one square is lit up too. I wonder if that's like an engine um, thing where it requires the square to be lit for there to be something to search there. I have no idea. Um, but let's put a key icon there. And I also don't know if, like, any key can work in any lock, either. I'm thinking that might be the case. Okay, there was a door here. Interesting. Also interesting that the darkness, even though it's, like, when we cast light, it says that it lasts the entire expedition. If we enter a dark square, it um, nullifies that. So that's something we have to remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it was just that one little box it was lit up, I'm guessing. The rest of this is just meant to confuse you. Okay. And then this was all walls. Easy. I'm not going to fight the gas clouds. Okay, found something new, good. Um, let me mark the rest of this. And this tile was lit. Cool. So that solves the mystery of what else was going on on this floor. Uh, so that probably means we can do more on floor three now. Let me just save again. Do we need to heal? We don't have a lot of dioses to use. Uh, our light spell also wore off since we went into the dark area, so maybe we'll go back um, just once here. How much time have we been recording anyway? Okay, uh, so let's go back to town and heal up, and that'll be the end of this video, I think. And then next time we can explore floor three, I think, for the first time in this series, that would be good. This has been a successful run so far. We might have... I don't think we, we leveled up again, but we can check. So let's have him stay. Yeah. I uh, got like three hit points back. Garrett got three hit points back. Quaz, um, do the same thing. And yeah, how much gold do we have? Just uh, by the way. Total, we have 2019 again. Um, let's buy some, like, armor, I think. Hmm. Plate mail. I think we just buy breastplates for now. Oh, we haven't bought helms yet, either. We could do that. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. 
So a helm for Guile. Helm for Opie. Helm for Fred. Oops. And I think the cleric can wear a helm too. Let me check real quick. I don't remember if I bought him one already. I did not. I think he can wear one too. Cool. AC is down to three for Guile. So the helm lowers our AC by one. Oops. Easy. Um, let's buy a helm for the cleric too. Oh, actually can't wear it because we have that symbol there, huh? Seems like something he'd be able to wear, but he can wear a breastplate, so let's buy him one of those, I think. And I think we can buy one for the rest of the team, too, that can wear it anyway. Just wanted to check. Just what you needed. I like that there's that little bit of flavor text there to confirm what you bought. Gives the game a little bit more personality for a game that's this old. Okay. What about the thief? Can the thief really use anything else? We have a small shield. Cannot wear a breastplate. And there's not much else we can do for the thief except for padded leather, I guess, which is 1500. An iron shield. Yeah, the thief is like pretty cheap, I guess, in the long run. Um, so let's equip those things. And we got all our spells back, right? Yeah, we did, I think. Okay. Oh, right. Um, we could also sell our chain mails now, I guess because it's not going to tell us to do that automatically. Everyone also has a, like, a limited carrying capacity, I think. So that's something to remember. Oops. Longsword, breastplate, small shield helm. That was him, right? Yeah. So many things I have to double check in this game. Not spell. Anointed flail, breastplate, large shield. Uh, weird that he can't wear a helm though. But um, I guess we could sell some stuff. We will sell chainmail. Anything else? No. I know this is a lot of busy work, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you're if you're still watching this. <laughs> Uh, Thief didn't have anything to sell. We can sell our chainmail and the staff. Okay. Um, can we buy a shield for the cleric? We should do that, I think. Yeah. So we can afford a large shield. And the next one up is 1500. Right. Okay. So we'll buy a large shield. We'll see what his AC is after this too. It should be pretty low. Flail, breastplate. Oh, we did have a large shield. For some reason I didn't think we did. Um... 
Sorry about that. Not player. We're just gonna sell that extra one. Cause why not? Um, is there anything else you gonna buy? Got a breastplate. Yeah, not much else really. Until we get up into like the 1500 range again. Um, but I don't think we need extra stuff. So, yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time in part 5. Later!